Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick review of what I found to be the cheapest Roku TV remote that I could find on Amazon. So I looked up Roku TV remotes, filtered them by least to most expensive, and this one was $3.99 USD with free shipping. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how well it works right out of the box. Now you will have to provide your own AAA batteries in the back of this remote. It doesn't have a pairing button, so it's gonna be using infrared and it is also worth noting that this isn't going to work with roku devices such as the roku express roku streaming stick those different roku devices that you can plug into your tv this is simply going to be working on dedicated roku tvs so tvs that you buy that have roku built into them and as soon as i put those batteries in the back of this remote it started working with my roku tvs immediately the buttons feel nice they're clicky and all of the buttons worked like you would expect them to, power turning the TV on and off, volume mute, volume up and down, moving around the menu, select button, and the app buttons down here are Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, and Disney Plus. Now to show you this remote in comparison to some other Roku remotes that I have, it's a little bit smaller, but really not much smaller, and it looks very similar to these other Roku remotes. So this is a TCL Roku TV remote, which is the most similar to this particular remote. And just to compare this $3.99 Roku TV remote to some other options, this is the cheap option on Roku's website. It's $9.99, it's the standard remote, and this is simply for Roku Expresses. And then the most expensive Roku remote from their website is the Pro, which has rechargeable batteries, it has a place for a headphone jack, it's a voice remote. That is a difference here, is this doesn't have voice command functionality like this remote is going to have. But not a big surprise considering the difference in price and also this most expensive remote has a pairing button so it can be used with more than just Roku TVs. It also can be paired to other Roku devices. But if you're simply in the market for a Roku TV remote that doesn't have voice command options, this is a great option with free shipping and it's just $3.99. I'll post a link to it down in the description if you'd like to check it out. And now I'll take you over to a couple of my Roku TVs to show you how seamlessly it works. And as soon as I put the batteries in and click on the power button, it takes me right to the HDMI input, which is how I have this particular Roku TV set up. This is a TCL branded Roku TV. But clicking on the home button and it takes me right over to the home page. I can click the mute button and we can see it mutes. And then volume up on the side here, the volume goes up, volume down. And then using the arrow keys to move your way around the menu works just great. All these app buttons at the bottom work exactly like how you'd expect them to. Clicking on the Hulu button takes me right over to the Hulu app. And again, going back to the home page, and it takes us right there. Now to round things out, taking you to another Roku TV that I have. This is a Roku branded TV. The other one was a TCL Roku TV. But immediately this remote works with this TV too. We can see moving the menu buttons around, muting and doing volume up and volume down. So the nice thing about these dedicated Roku TV remotes is they should work with any Roku TV that you have no matter the brand of it. And it should work with any of these Roku TVs without even having to pair it. You just bring it up to the TV, make sure it's pointed right at the television and the buttons should work as you would expect them to as long as you have good AAA batteries in the back that are ready to go. So I hope this video was helpful going over what I found to be at least at this point in time the cheapest Roku TV remote that I could find on Amazon. I'll post a link to it down in the description. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.